Hey guys, I hope you all are doing well. Today I'm back with a wig show and tell. And today's wig is brought to you by DivaWigs.com. Thank you so much, Diva Wigs, for sending me this wig. You guys, I'm wearing blonde, ash blonde hair. And I don't know about you guys, but I am totally, totally loving this wig. When you first get the wig, when you take it straight out the box, it does not come like this. It's it's kind of scary at first. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Well, for me, as a person that loves wigs, it was kind of scary. The parting comes as like a middle part, kinda like like right here. When you first try it on, this side is shorter than this side, and it's like a middle part, so it's like, whoa, what is going on here? So I went ahead and did a right side part, went a little bit deeper, but because this side is shorter than that side, when I parted the hair, to tame the hair, you have to wet the hair, so I used a spray bottle and just combed everything that way just so it could lay flat because if you just go in and part it with a comb it's just gonna keep flying back so you have no choice but to wet the hair but don't wet it too much like mist it a little with your hands or with a spray bottle I recommend the spray bottle but whatever works for you whatever you have when you bring this side over here it's it makes it look shorter because this side is so long so it gives you like a little bit of a layer and it was just a tiny layer and I didn't like that. So I went in and I feathered, feathered. <laughs> I feathered the hair some more. And it's a lot of layers in here, you guys. It's a lot of feathering in here. But my feathering just chilling right now, okay? It's just chilling. After that, I went in and I flat ironed the wig. I started from the back and worked my way to the crown. I did not apply anything any product on this hair I just went straight in with the flat iron on 350 degrees I believe I didn't want to weigh down the hair with any product and I didn't want the hair to come off too shiny I kind of wanted like a dull kind of dry look so I got what I wanted I love it if you ever do decide to get this wig if you want to go with product that's totally your option when styling this hair, it had zero tangling, but it was shedding. Shedding was very minimum, nothing too crazy where it's like, oh my god, I need and I want my money back. I feel like it's shedding. Anybody can handle. Very minimum, honestly. When you part it too, the parting gets a little tight, so I had to go in and pluck it a little bit. Then I took my MAC, my MAC powder fix in the shade NW45 and just applied a little bit of powder on the top. The hairline do come pre-plucked. I'll be showing the inside a picture. So it's not bad and then I went in and plucked it a little more. I really wanted to like bleach the knots and then come back to you guys but I was like let me just style it first because not everybody like has time to like bleach knots or want to bleach knots or very good at bleaching it so this is how it looks with the powder and I have a coffee colored cap underneath this is the wig do I think it's worth the money from the quality of the hair I feel like it's worth the money I feel like it could be a little bit cheaper but the wig is custom made they took about a week I feel like it's either two weeks or a week and a half to make this wig and then send it to me. And the shipping took about, I believe, three to four days. So, in a way, it's worth the money. I just feel like it was just a little bit less. Like, just a little bit less. I'm not sure what the price is, but I know it's expensive. So I just went ahead and checked the price, and it is $239 dollars
But hey, you be the judge. Do you think it's worth the money? Like I said, the quality is really nice. I feel like you could get a lot. A lot. I'm looking you in your eyes and telling you, I feel like you could get a lot of wears out this wig with the proper care. This wig could definitely go a very long way. Density is on... it's not too thin but then again it's not too thick so it's like kind of in between I think it's perfect I wouldn't add any more to the any more hair to the wig and I wouldn't add any or I wouldn't take away any less when you get your wig it comes in this clear baggie that comes in this duffel bag that says divas wigs they also send you a weaving cap a brush and a manual on the manual it comes with the information of, of your wig with your name on it so you get your skew hair density hairline lace color cap construction adjustable straps and also tell you the cap size I'm gonna leave all the information below about the wig that I have on today in the manual let me tell you a little bit of what I have in here because it says a lot it tells you how to cut your lace, washing instructions, um, if it gets tangled, what to do, if you want to sleep with it, dry ends. It tells you all of that. Removal, if you decide to glue down your wig, comes with a lot of information. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Let me know what you think. I know a lot of you guys are going to be <laughs> upset about the price because I know a lot of you guys probably love it. But hey, I am just the messenger, the honest messenger. <laughs> so I see you guys in my next video later you guys